She is Lori Smith, the Institute for Healthy Living at the Indiana Regional Medical Center. They're all about keeping you healthy, making you healthy, and uh, helping you to move forward in life and not sit around all day. And at this time of the year, well, we think about all of that stuff, don't we? Lori, good morning. Good morning, Todd. I'm happy to be here this morning. I'm glad you are. Brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Okay, Lori, so this time of the year, people have gone ahead and made their resolutions, and we don't know how many of them are still sticking with it, but it's really easy to stop because uh, resolutions aren't habits yet, are they? No, no, and and I think it is, especially after the year we've all had, I think, Everyone was looking forward to the start of of the new year in 2021 and plans, and we always have kind of that push that we want to do better and make changes, and with that comes our lifestyles. And and again, given the last year, there are a lot of things that we did that maybe affected our lifestyle in a negative way. So I, I think people definitely were looking to set goals and resolutions, which I think can be a great thing, but I think it, it can also be challenging if, if we set ourselves up. Um, and, and you're exactly right. It needs, we need time. We, it needs to become a habit, so we can't expect change overnight. And we should not start at a million miles an hour either, should we? No, you're exactly right. And and I think that, uh, again, many people, we get that push. We come off of the holidays and we want to start and we see the ads all over. We have friends, family starting different plans. So we feel very motivated to jump into something, the newest or the latest fad. And I understand that. But I often will say to people, you really need to start where you are. Just evaluate what are you doing currently and what what can we start with small changes? And those small changes are going to lead to just that. They're going to lead to healthier habits. That being the case, Lori, give us an idea. What are some of the things that we can do right now? I know that there are great programs being offered. I know Journey to Lean is coming back. Uh, but yeah. you know, fitness and diet and exercise, they're two separate things, uh, but they are very, very much related. They are. And, and when we talk about overall health and wellness and, you know, not only just our physical health, but, but certainly our mental health and wellness, there, there's value to both nutrition and exercise. So I, I would encourage people to just evaluate where they are. You know, maybe people feel that, hey, I'm, I'm on a pretty good path with my eating now that it is the new year. I'm getting all the Christmas cookies out of the house. But where I need to focus on is exercise. So I would really encourage people to look at where you are, where, where do you feel that you can start. And, and, again, it's about small changes. So if we're not active and we're not doing anything structured now, we can't set ourselves up to say, oh, I'm going to exercise five days a week for an hour. Um, because then I think sometimes what we do is we set an unrealistic goal and Given, again, people set these resolutions, and in time, what happens? We we sometimes fail because we didn't make that goal realistic or something that we could achieve. Indoor gyms, such as the S&T Wellness Center, uh, sometimes they're available to us, sometimes they are not. And it's mm-hmm. it's very, very much more difficult now to get involved in, in an organized program with a coach, such as you're going to get from uh, from you folks at the Institute for Healthy Living. Um, what are some of the resources that you are able to offer that will help people to, to get started and then to stay on course? Well, and, and you're right. I mean, I think a lot of people are, they've relied on gyms and, and kind of the social aspect of having people who help them, having the exercise physiologist, just knowing friends are, are going to that gym, going to a class. So that does help. And, and that certainly has changed and, and continues to evolve as, as I know, even our, our S&T Wellness Center, we are holding off on the opening of that because of everything that's going on. So we do need to then really look to where, where can we incorporate physical activity. So is it something just even at our homes? Again, given the season and the time of year, what are things that we have available just in our own homes? Some of us do have exercise equipment. Maybe we haven't used it in a while. Um, Some of us have access to things online that we can do, classes, on-demand exercise videos, and 
even we have old DVD videos that we may need to rely on those in the meantime, at least just to get us moving. And honestly, Todd, if nothing else, I, I, I think the best thing that we can do is put on our sneakers, put on our coat, our hat, and our mm-hmm. gloves, and get outside when, when, of course, the weather is, you know, the temperature is at a safe temperature and we're not dealing with icy conditions. But sometimes just that fresh air, not only physically but mentally, can, yeah. can really help. Absolutely. Lori, we've been nine, ten months when some people are still working from home uh, and uh, it's really easy to fall into bad habits uh, when you're when you're doing the work from home to have that bag of chips right there or or whatever is is going to really work against you in the long run. Uh, so for those folks who are working at home via Zoom, uh, are there things they can do while they're doing that work that are going to really benefit them? I I think it is definitely. I think we just again, given the situation, we just have to really be willing and I think we've all learned that over the year is to be flexible and to adapt and so we still need to get that activity throughout the day so making a point you know can we be standing instead of sitting can we be doing our stairs at at the house can we take our lunch and get outside and go for a walk is it 10 minutes that we do on the bike or the treadmill you know before our day even starts or even just at the end of the day and sometimes that helps, you know, just get us as we're working. It gives us that it, it helps relieve some of that stress. And it can also help. I know myself, I, I come up with some of my ideas when I'm active, when I'm moving. Um, mm-hmm. So we just need to be more conscious of that. And then you also brought up a good point of, yes, we're in our home. So are we mindful when it comes to the eating? And it is very easy now to access food. We wander down to the kitchen. We have things right at our desk or easy access. So, again, we still have to apply some of those concepts. What are we bringing into the house? What's available? What do we have ready to go? And we need to make those healthy choices available and convenient even when we're working from home. Talking with Lori Smith, IRMC's Institute for Healthy Living. Still, Lori, when when you do get into that program, injuries are going to happen for for, for some folks. uh, And Mm -hmm. and so when they hurt themselves, I know that you would be a a, a great advocate of saying, don't neglect going to the doctor and getting stuff looked at when it needs looked at. IRMC is still full service. So uh, if if you do tweak a muscle or or sprain an ankle, you've got to get it taken care of and, uh, and don't let these things slide. That, that's exactly right. And and I think sometimes that is the problem. We let things go or we we try a new workout program that, that we're not quite ready for or doesn't really, is not appropriate for our needs. So we have to keep in mind some of those limitations and, and be mindful of that. So, you know, we still are available as resources, even though our, our wellness center is not open currently. You know, we still are our calls. People can still call and reach out. And certainly our, our medical center, our physicians, we are open and there. And, and we're here for people. We realize, again, the challenges. But, but we are still here. Absolutely. All right. Laurie Smith, you've been very, very helpful to us. Uh, now we just need to apply it all and, uh, and not get down. That's a big part of this is, is to keep your spirits up because, uh, well, we've got the vaccine and uh, it's a light that might be a little bit further off than we would want it to be, but it is a light that is turned on right now, and uh, and and we have we have an opportunity here to uh, enter into this new year with our chins up and and looking forward to the year. I agree, and I think that's the best way to approach it. Really focusing on what we can do and what we can control and manage to take care of ourselves, to take care of our families. And so that's what I encourage people, invest our energy and efforts into that. And knowing what we know, you know, when we talk about the healthy lifestyle, that is something that we can do that that really is a step in the right direction. Um, So, yes, and, and we're absolutely, our Journey to Lean program, we are starting a program Next Wednesday, we are doing virtual. Uh, and again, anyone who would be interested, it's the phone number for the Institute is 724-357-8088. Um, so we are planning to take that program and do it virtually. And again, just looking for that opportunity to be able to provide support 
in the education and connect with people to help them reach their goals. You know, that's such an interesting program. Uh, I was going to say goodbye to you, but I wanted to bring that up. Uh, that program has been around for a lot of years, and, it, and for it to keep coming back every year must mean that uh, it's a pretty successful program. It works. It is, and, and, and we feel, obviously, as, as the creators, the dietitians that, and exercise physiologists that we really work to develop the program, so it has been running for several years, and people are successful with the program, and it is. It's Journey to Lean, so it's lifelong exercise and nutrition, and we're teaching people about sensible eating and the value of exercise and exercise that's realistic that we make part of our routine, as well as just addressing those habits, behaviors that that help us to develop these habits long term. Lori, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I was happy to be here. All right. Bye now. Bye. There's Lori Smith, the Institute for Healthy Living at the Indiana Regional Medical Center. If you want to get in on Journey to Lean, 724-357-8088, and they'll tell you all about it, and they'll tell you all about it.